We are here again with the same old question I get once, twice, three times a month, if not four. How do I hook up my Dyna ignition because my ignition module from Thunderheart went bad? Well, it's pretty simple. You remove the nose cone pickup and you install the Dyna ignition module or whoever you use. If you use Crane, Dyna, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but we're using the Dyna 2000 model system here. Once you figure out what kind of ignition you're going to run, whether it's a Dyna, whether it's a Crane, or whoever else makes them, we need to figure out the next step is, do we have a dual fire coil or a single fire coil? A dual fire coil has two wires, and only two wires. A single fire coil has three wires that need connected to it. So with this model, with all of most of our big dogs, we run a dual coil setup. So we're only going to be using two wires off of the ignition module itself. We're going to go ahead and run it up the bottom, up the backbone, and into our battery tray. So with this model we've already ran the new rip kit in it because the old computer went bad. So we've installed our coil and our ignition switch wiring harness into the backbone with our new harness. We don't have the ignition module anymore so we're going to directly connect the coil harness to the rip kit harness, the main harness, with a simple plug. Now the wires and colors are not going to match, it's okay. These have the correct voltage going to the correct sensors, wire, electronics, everything's all set up so you don't have to change anything but plug in those two four pin connectors. We're not going to use the ground. The ground is not going to be used because the system has already grounded itself so we don't need to use this anymore. And then it leaves the next four pin connector here and we're going to use this to plug into our ignition module. Now with the ignition, most of the ignition modules you're going to have five colored wires. The purple wires is a VOS, VOES system. We do not use that with big dogs. We never have, never will, so the purple wire is not going to be used at all. With the green wire that is with this, it's going to be our tack wire. This green wire, because isn't going to be used because we are not we don't have a tack on this model. If we did have a tack, this green wire would actually pin into a yellow wire in the backbone harness down in here. So that yellow wire is actually going to be our tack reading up through here um, behind the gas tanks and wherever they put the tack. So this is if you do have a tack, you want to connect the green wire to the yellow wire to the tack. The blue wire is for a single fire setup. And we are not going to be using the blue wire because we're on a dual coil system, dual fire system, excuse me. So that leaves the pink and white wire. Now, with the four pin connector that still hasn't been connected, this is where we want to install these guys. The pink and white wire are going to plug into the red and yellow wire. When you guys order these kits, on the rip kits, make sure you tell them that you're using a nose cone ignition and that you're going to need a four pin plug. You can jump her across the plug if you want to, but we'll send this out with you as well. It's not a big deal. Make a phone call, we'll send this out to you. Put the pin and plug inside there, and then we want to run our white wire to our pink, or excuse me, our white wire to our red wire. That's going to be our front power and also your pickup and the pink wire is going to go to our yellow wire make sure you get them snapped in there so they don't pull out and they don't pull out you may have to disconnect the plug for a moment make sure we get it snapped in there nice and snug and then put it back in. So now our bike is ready to go. Simple, easy install. It's not going to take too long for anybody to figure out what's going on with it. But if you do have questions, feel free to email us at bigdog.net.